What is up guys, Jarv here, back today jumping into Destiny 2. Now in today's video we're taking a look at an insane way that allows you to double your enhancement cores. So if you've been farming out this week's Grandmaster Ordeal and have completely filled out your inventory of Ascendant Shards and Enhancement Prisms, then I'm going to show you exactly how you can also maximise your enhancement cores. So be sure to stick around and check out the video. If you enjoyed the video be sure to leave a rating down below, that super helps me out here on the channel. And if you're new here and want to keep up to date with all the latest Destiny 2 content, be sure to hit subscribe as well. But without further delay guys, let's jump into the video. Now this week has seen the return of the Lake of Shadows as a Grandmaster ordeal. So if you've been farming out Nightfalls this week, you would have been aware that there is now a modifier active which doubles all the loot at the end of the activity. So if you're able to get a Platinum Medal, then you can potentially get up to 4 Ascendant Shards, which is absolutely insane, but well worth the effort if you can get the fire teams together. If you've not been able to complete the Grandmaster ordeal, then the Master version is well worth the effort too. If you've been struggling to get fire teams together, I highly recommend you jump into the community Discord. This is the Jarv Community Hub. We have nearly 2,500 amazing guardians across all platforms playing Destiny 2, and we have an LFG for each and every one. So if you want to get those fire teams together and make the most of the last 24 hours before potentially this modifier goes away, then be sure to hop in. You can find the link to the Discord down in the video description below. Now this week's Nightfall has been absolutely incredible when it comes to farming end game upgrade materials. Ascendant Shards drop in there plenty, especially on the Grandmaster version. And you can cap out your infantry and your postmaster very easily indeed as long as you can get the fire team together. Now if you do cap out your infantry, the only way to earn more is by having multiple characters. You're not able to transfer the materials between characters and you could end up in a position like myself here where I have 10 shards and 50 enhancement prisms in my inventory with the rest in my postmaster on this character. Now one of the key materials in the upgrade economy is enhancement cores. These form the majority of the upgrade materials that you'll need before you even need prisms and ascendant shards. And when you consider enhancement cores are all you'll need for masterwork in your weapons, this is going to be an absolute must in terms of having a key reserve of this material going into Beyond Light. And I'm going to show you in this video today how you can upgrade blue armor and actually double the enhancement cores that you currently have in your infantry. Now, as you can see from the footage that's been playing out, I'm currently upgrading the Primal Siege Type 1 helmet, which you can actually pull from your collection. Now, we're not going to fully upgrade this armor in any way. We're just going to boost its energy up to level 8. Now, in order to do this, this will cost you 10 legendary shards, 3 enhancement cores and 1 enhancement prism, and six and a half thousand glimmer to do so. Now in order to find this armor set, you need to head over into your collections. If you go into your armor and move down to leveling on the second tab, you'll come across the blue armor sets and the primal siege suits can be found here. Now it'll cost you 250 glimmer per piece alongside three gunsmith materials. So it doesn't cost you a lot to actually purchase this from your collection, but you can actually purchase this at five energy already, meaning we only have to upgrade this three times. Now what I did here was put all the armor that I was carrying in my inventory in the vault. And with this in mind, I was able to purchase nine of each of the armor pieces. And once you've fully filled out your collection though, if you do find you are running low on any of the materials, especially Glimmer, as this is gonna be needed not just for purchasing, but also upgrading, then be sure to hop over to Spider over in the Tangled Shore and you can purchase Glimmer for him using either legendary shards or a variety of materials. Now with the introduction of Umbral Engrams this season, I've managed to actually build up a nice stack of legendary shards, probably for the first time in Destiny 2. Now if you've been farming the Nightfall already, you've probably been getting a fair amount of Umbral Engrams as end of activity rewards from the Nightfall itself. So be sure to hand these in to make sure you can get those legendary shards back which you could then reinvest in getting your enhancement cores. So I've managed to upgrade a fair few pieces of armor up to energy level eight. And as you can see, I had one enhancement core around 100,000 glimmer and 50 enhancement prisms as I had some in my postmaster. Now, once you've managed to level up as many armor pieces up to energy level eight that you've pulled from your collections as you can, we now have the simple task of simply dismantling all these items. Now for every single armor piece that we dismantle, we'll get a single piece of gunsmith material in return alongside six enhancement cores and around 100 glimmer. And what we're effectively being able to do here is combine multiple economies within Destiny 2. So by taking enhancement prisms and using other materials that we've earned throughout the season, we're effectively able to convert these from prisms into enhancement cores. And because the Nightfall is still available, we can further replace those prisms by continuing to farm the Nightfall as well. So instead of missing out on those prisms once we've reached our cap, 
we're effectively converting them to allow us to earn even more. Now, before I started dismantling all the armor pieces that you see here, we had one single enhancement core. But by dismantling all of these and regaining the enhancement cores back from the upgrades we've made, I've actually now got 103 enhancement cores. So we have to bear in mind, I did technically invest 51 enhancement cores here to get 103 in return. So overall, it's around doubling the amount of enhancement cores minus all the materials we're using in order to do the upgrades. Now, aside from the enhancement prisms, which are absolutely critical in terms of getting six enhancement cores back, Legendary Shards is the other ultimate material that we're gonna need in order to effectively do this as much as possible. You can repeat this as often as possible to as much as your materials allow, whether that be Glimmer or Legendary Shards, but you can replace Glimmer using Legendary Shards. So be sure to utilize those if you have them. And if you don't, be sure to try and complete as many activities as you can, whether that be the contact public event or even the current nightfall if you want to combine farming the Ascendant Shards and the Prisms with trying to replace or replenish your Legendary Shards. Now, some of you may be wondering, why do we want so many enhancement cores when we can get enhancement Prisms and Ascendant Shards? Well, as we've mentioned previously in the video, you can only hold a certain amount of Ascendant Shards and Enhancement Prisms per character. And once you reach that cap, you're effectively missing out if you're continuing to run the Grandmaster Nightfall, even for exotic drops. Now, by converting them into Enhancement Cores, that allows us to build up a critical upgrade material going into Beyond Light, which not only allows us to upgrade our armor, but also our weapons once the new DLC drops on November 10th. Now, before making the video, I had around 50 enhancement cores. It's a material that I personally struggle with as I like to upgrade a lot of my weapons. However, by completing the video, I was able to increase that to well over 300 in a short space of time. So if you've been farming the Nightfall all week and you've started to cap out those end game upgrade materials, then really consider converting them into enhancement cores using this method. It will allow you to continue to farm the Nightfall, regain those materials that you're using, but as you're continuing to run the Nightfall, allow you further chances for those exotic drops. So there we have it guys, the most effective way to double your enhancement cores, whether it's a glitch, a trick, or just utilizing the in-game economies to maximize the materials that we have, be sure to make the most of it before the Nightfall modifier goes away. Now, if you have enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a rating down below. That super helps me out here on the channel. And if you are new here and want to keep up to date with all the latest Destiny 2 content, especially in the run-up to be on light, then be sure to hit subscribe as well. I'm going to jump back into the game as always, guys, but I will catch you all again very soon.